Welcome back to SMKR. Up next is the Millennium Falcon from MPC. This is the Return of the Jedi version and it is in 158th scale. And uh, just thought I'd give you a view of this kit, do a quick review of it, show you all the kit parts. It, yeah, it has its flaws, but really it was the only game in town for years. Anyway, here's what the box art looks like on the sides. And you can see they actually have um, some uh, scenes from the movie on the side here. And as you know, the original studio scale, the 32-incher is available out there for people to uh, purchase and build pieces. The Diagostini Millennium Falcon which I have received some of the first parts for that and you'll see a review here on my channel very soon with that showing you some of the other kits that are available from MPC at the time the speeder bike which uh, uh, Bandai is coming out with this in the near future along with uh, C-3PO and X-Wing Fighter which uh, Bandai also came out with and I hope that uh, Bandai comes out with a Tyrillium shuttle. Okay, so uh, we'll open this up and let's look at the kit parts. Firstly is the under half of uh, Han Solo's Millennium Falcon. And you can see it has openings for the landing gear, uh, for the bottom turret and the entryway it looks like uh, to open up the, the entryway and then we see we have some uh, details here for the piping and all that the detail is fairly good for its time when this first came out um, of course you can add all your own pieces to this if needed to make it to accurize it as possible um, but I, I think it builds up as a very nice representation of the Millennium Falcon. Um, nice detail on the actuators for the back on your engine thrusters. I think they did a very good job with this kit for the time. Accurate wise I can't say whether or not it's very accurate but I do know it doesn't have all the, all the uh, bits and pieces that are found on the real studio model. But it does make into a nice representation and definitely enough room internal wise to light it up to put LEDs in it and all that. Okay, I'll be back. Let's uh, look at the top half of the saucer. Or not the saucer, actually, the Millennium Falcon. Be right back. And as you can see, the top half is a little more detailed because that's actually what you're going to see more of. And uh, like I was saying, it uh, does give you quite a bit of detail here. Once again, you have uh, cut up the cutouts, the openings here for some of the uh, what Millennium Falcon electronics and sensory devices that may be found inside those areas. And uh, the top half here is the uh, goes to where the uh, flight deck is, or the flying compartment for the Millennium Falcon, and the entryway top portion there along with your engine details and uh, you know I guess perhaps you could get the photo X etch upgrade from um, paragraphics to fix this up and you can see the details aren't that great as far as uh, this compared to the studio scale they just kind of threw some stuff in there and you can actually add your own to this if needed to make it more accurate. Actually it's a pretty good uh, piece of plastic. Very large. I'll measure this and I'll be right back. So after measuring it, uh, what I got was uh, about 14 inches wide and about 18 and a half inches uh, long. So which is a pretty good size. Um, should make a nice display and you could actually hang this from your wall 
uh, down on your wall if you wanted to make more space for it. But the detail is fairly good for this old uh, MPC kit. And uh, they are collectible a little bit out there if you're trying to find one that's uh, not opened. This one was already open, so I don't mind uh, showing you just what it looked like and, and how detailed it is, which I think they did a good job with it for what they had at the time. The greebly bits, of course, uh, you may have heard that term before with the greebly bits. Greebly bits being uh, pieces and parts of model kits that the uh, designers of this, the, the model makers did for Industrial Light and Magic. They went and bought a bunch of model kits from a hobby shop not very far away and put a bunch of uh, airplane and tank parts on this. And uh, that's what the greebly bits, when they say that, that's what that what they mean by that. So you'll find pieces of tank track and barrels and car transmissions and uh, valve covers and all that uh, found on, on the original studio scale model. And sometimes um, the model makers out there that want to reproduce, reproduce, reproduce these actually represent those greebly bits very well. Not so much with this kit, but on some of the other releases that are out there. Be right back with more parts. Inside the box was a bag full of parts and uh, about, uh, I think there's four sprue trees full of parts. This is, uh, shows the flying compartment area of the Falcon. A lot of detail there. Some more pieces of the Falcon itself. Looks like uh, the seats up front. Flight deck area. And then you have the parts for the wheel wells. Now there's, there's no detail to these at all interior wise. Another part here. Another greebly bit, bit for the Falcon. If I turn it over, you can see there's really no detail at all whatsoever interior-wise on these parts and components, especially the wheel wells areas. So if you wanted to detail out your wheel wells, you'll have to find a, a reference or perhaps make up your own uh, plumbing and all that for the, for the landing gear for this. But uh, that's that first part here. Some more parts here. The next tree. This shows some of the details inside of the fuselage of the Falcon. Where the cutouts are. Pretty good detail. Plumbing and greebly bits. So the detail is there. It's pretty good. I mean, it's doable. I mean, like I said, this was the only game in town. Uh, one of the turret pieces. Access port. Which actually looks pretty good. Landing gear feet itself for the landing gear, the guns, not too bad, some actuators, and uh, only three parts had come off the trees, and this is a pretty old kit, as you can imagine. I'll turn this over so we can look at uh, these parts here on the other side. The detail for those is on the other side. And they are right there. So it's not too bad. And not much other detail going on. Pretty much it. The next tree 
as our radar dish, which of course in the Return of the Jedi this was knocked off in flight during one of the battle scenes. And of course it was replaced in the new movie with this uh, rectangle shaped antenna. And here's the flight deck glass canopy area. Some more seats that go inside the cockpit. Our flight deck. More antennae, more gribbly bits to go on the outside of the Falcon. More panels. Another entryway. And another turret access. More guns. And these don't show any detail here. Turn them over, get a closer look at these. So you can probably see uh, model parts from other kits within these. So they did a pretty good job at representing what's actually inside of these areas on the Falcon. The last sprue of solid gray are your side pieces that go around the outside of the Falcon. Get a closer look at those. And of course uh, Han Solo and Chewbacca figures are on this tree too. We'll look at those shortly. Some open areas probably could use some attention to detail, some extra detailing to them. There's Han Solo and Chewbacca, and then looks like we probably have a gunner, the helmet on. Not bad, they have separate arms included with them. come back and look at the clear parts. Here are a couple of sprues with clear parts on it. We'll look at the canopies first. Of course the uh, studio model didn't have any clear canopies for the cockpit area. Uh, there was no so that way they could better film it without any reflections coming off the clear pieces. So you know you can decide whether or not you want to install this or not on your model kit and then some more clear parts and then clear pieces for the exhaust area and uh, my copy is cracked but I'll probably replace these with, ac with clear acetate instead when the time comes these are clear, they're not smoked like I've seen on some of the other releases from Ertl AMT. They've actually taken and, and uh, smoked these uh, exhaust pieces, which I don't know if that's very correct or not, but that's what they did. And lastly is the instructions for this kit. Uh, I know it says MPC on the box, but this is what came in the kit was the AMT Ertl uh, instructions. And Han Solo's Return of the Jedi, so it is, it is the one. A uh, very small sheet of instructions here, very typical for back in the day. 1995 it looks like. And this particular one came out. Um, very basic details on what to install where. All the way across. You go page by page. In this case, you want to work your way down on these. And fold them a little bit here. Very 
radar dish installing all the details within the fuselage flight deck and pretty much see box cover for references on painting it uh, no other color call outs came with this with these instructions so that's pretty much it and there you have it that was the uh, AMT Ertl or MPC Return of the Jedi Millennium Falcon in 158th scale. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more Millennium Falcon model kit reviews. Thanks for watching. Happy modeling, everybody.